Atia Bowie is live for us in Kabul. Atia, Leon Panetta getting there. What's he hearing from Karzai this morning? Hi there, Chuck. Sorry, I'm having a bit of a problem with the audio. I didn't hear your question, but I can tell you that uh, Secretary of uh, Defense Leon Panetta did make his way down to Helmand Province first, where he met with U.S. Marines. Uh, it, an interesting occurrence happened there. The Marines, about 400 of them were in the tent. They were actually told to leave the tent, take their weapons off, and then come back into the tent, which is very unusual. Usually, U.S. service members are allowed to hold on to their weapons while the Secretary of Defense is visiting them. We don't know if this was a cultural issue because the Afghan soldiers aren't allowed to uh, hold on to their weapons uh, during these kind of meetings, but it was something that caused a little bit of a concern. They say there wasn't a security issue, but we're still not clear on that. And, and if I could uh, follow up on what Atiyah Bawi said a minute ago yeah. about the Marines there in Helmand province uh, being forced to leave the meeting hall where Secretary Panetta was going to arrive and deposit their weapons outside. The Marines in a combat zone never leave their weapons. They can't be outside of their reach. Uh, so this is highly unusual. Uh, and according to the New York Times, one of the commanders say, some people got itchy, but concern over U.S. Marines armed in the presence of the Secretary of Defense, as far as I know, Chuck, is unprecedented. And so, if, uh, you know, we don't want to speculate here, and, and hopefully we'll get more reporting. So, if it's a, it, it, could this be about some sort of issue having to do with the Afghan army? No, because it's always customary that Afghan troops in the presence of the Secretary of Defense are not normally armed. But, you know, we've been there many times with the Secretary, with the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs, and the, the soldiers, the Marines, are always armed in a combat zone when, in fact, they have their, they have their arms at their feet, sometimes on their, on their laps. Uh, but right. I've never seen an, in, a, a, an incident where they have been forced to disarm themselves. Right. The thought, even the suspicion that a U.S. Marine would open fire on the Secretary of Defense, unbelievable.